brought to you by viewers like you. Thanks for your donations. I mean, this is the only time I see all of our fans. Like, I haven't seen them since we did the movie and we did all the press, you know? When I left the show, I kind of just left and, you know? And so now it's like, it's great. Everybody's older and <laughs> it's like a family reunion. I'm um, officially back in LA, still acting. Just, you know, beating the pavement. So there'll be some stuff next year. There's some stuff brewing. Nothing I want to talk about now, but I'll, it'll be, it'll be some stuff brewing. The biggest thing is I remember just, it was like a whirlwind. I mean, we got on the show and within months we were in Australia shooting the movie, then we were back, and then it was just the biggest and best thing any actor could ever do. I mean, there's nothing I probably will ever do that'll top that. Um, I guess for me, the best thing was just, you know, working with, um, you know, my co-stars and just all the different kids that would visit the set. I mean, it was just, probably the biggest thing for kids at the time and to meet all these people now it's just amazing how we influenced them and we didn't even know I mean we were working so much we didn't even really get to enjoy it so now I get to enjoy it Steve is a sweetheart I love him to death um, I'm so glad he's here because I mean honestly it wasn't until maybe last year that we we saw each other we hadn't seen each other since Power Rangers so it's great for me to be able to be back and visit with him and see Nakia and I'm gonna see Catherine and I mean it's just great to see everybody. But they're all, I mean it's, it's so amazing how we've all changed, everybody has like families, everybody's done a million things since then, but we're all still bound together by this. So it's like we're family forever. I had a whole nother life before Power Rangers. I was in a singing group and we were signed to AM Records and um, we did the Moeny soundtrack. It kind of came about um, my manager at the time, he saw me and, and two other girls and he thought, you guys know how to sing? And so we started singing and at the time I just wanted to be on stage. I didn't care if I was in front of a camera, I didn't care if I was singing, I didn't care what I was doing. I just wanted to do something. So we put together this group and within a year we had a, a major record deal and we did the Moeny soundtrack and then from there, when the group kind of broke up, I mean, we were signed for about five years, so I mean, it was a long time. And so it was weird, but right after that, I said, I think I want to be an actress, and I think I'm going to focus on acting. And within two months, I was living out here doing the Power Rangers. So, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> it's like my life is a whirlwind. <laughs> I, I basically like didn't even know what Power Rangers was and a friend of mine told me that there's this open audition you should go to it and I remember showing up and there was like a line around the building and I was like I'm not are you kidding me we got to stay here all day and she was like no no it's perfect for you you're the right age I had no clue what they wanted and I just remember reading the um, advertisement in the paper and it said you had to be a gymnast a dancer or an actor and I was like well I can dance I'm a dancer so I just went in there and they, I had like a short little monologue to do. I did a dance and then the next thing I know, they called me back later that afternoon and then within two days they flew me to LA to the callback and by that afternoon we had, me, Steve and Johnny had the show. And they were like, tell your parents to FedEx your clothes. I was like, what? But it was good because I planned on moving to LA so I just moved a lot sooner than I thought. The goal this year is just full-fledged, hit the pavement with everybody else and may the, may the best girl win. <laughs>